If you don't speak, then you won't get spoken to People only see you when you up, then they notice you Trying to be a legend, cray lines is quotable Only the real shall last, and I only know a few People when they feelings always acting emotional Ain't about a check, then it ain't negotiable Gotta show respect to the people that's posting you Soon to be on posters, posted up like the older dudes Now we aging like fine wine, how we supposed to do Peep the shade on the timelines, this time posted cool Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good whatever time it is, wherever you are. My name is Brian Hare. I'm here on behalf of Free Salon Education doing our Thursday morning live class. Uh, I've got Matt Beck here, Hello. really running everything, making me look as good as I do. Or screwing things up. Or that. But that's what <laughs> makes me look good. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know how to do it. You're doing better than I would. Yeah. So I have to, I have to take ownership because, and this is what I was about to tell you, I... I'm just so bad with celebrity names that I, <laughs> I labeled this class the Jessica Parker um, huh. hair color class. Well, so, <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> I don't know. All right, well, whoever the hell she is, yeah, she's yeah. getting. Good so we're really gonna draw the people in here. Credit for really good hair. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, so that'll just go ahead and jump us right into what I just wanted to go over today. I think Matt, did you say this is our last live stream of the year? Yeah, last one. All right, cool. So I wanted to hit on something that. If you are not yet in love with or wrapping your head around, it's something that is going to come across your chair because there is the new reboot of Sex in the City out now uh, on HBO. It is, it's okay. However you feel about it, it doesn't really matter. The star of the show has been how good Sarah Jessica Parker's hair <laughs> Uh, actually looks. I don't know. I, I love the direction they've taken it. They've made it... Something that is so salon realistic. I'm watching the show and I was like, oh my God, like I'm thinking of all these clients that I actually do that on. So I wanted to chit chat about some of the ways that I go about uh, approaching that with some of my guests. So in case you haven't watched it, just a heads up. I've got a couple of pictures that I gave Matt. I don't know who he's going to put pictures up of, but uh, do you have any of those? Just keep talking. I'll okay. So what's cool about this is they are not trying to, they're embracing the fact that we all get older. They talk about their age on the show. They talk about her age on the show. They even have a full conversation about coloring their hair at lunch, which is pretty, you know, normal and accurate for real people. So it's kind of neat for us, to watch, you know, as hairdressers. Um, and what they're doing with her hair that I like so much is they're really just embracing her natural base. They're not trying to cover all of her grays. They're giving her something that, especially these days, is much more salon realistic because it's a way more low maintenance type color. Uh, it is, it's something that I've gone over in the past, sort of the actual like layout of it, and maybe we'll revisit it in the future again if we need to, because today's gonna be just a little bit more technique. But as you watch the show, you can actually see that it's more of an, uh, the color is more just laid on the outside and it's focused on areas where she's obviously a little bit more gray. I do have clients that I do that with that aren't looking to come in every month, every six weeks, whatever, to do a complete cover of gray because maybe they just have like a lot of individual grays or maybe some patches of gray, but not necessarily like a full like 75% or more gray that needs to be covered. So what's cool is having something in your wheelhouse that can still give them a color service that makes them feel good about what, you know, time is doing with their hair while still, you know, not locking them into every four weeks needing to get your hair done. This was how she looked when the show started. This was just what was automatically breathtaking and like, wow, she's great. It's blonde. It's all this. But as the show goes on and you watch it, you see as she moves, like I'm not even looking at the style, the clothes on the show, which is so a, a departure from before because it really is so much more about the hair. And as she moves, you can see she's left all the dark underneath. She really only is wearing highlights on her hairline and on the outside layer of her hair. That is something that I see with my guests a lot where they have those grayer areas in the temples 
and maybe you just do some hand painting over those areas just to brighten up any of the pepper and sort of marry in the gray with the hair color that's mixed in with it and make it look like a highlight that as it grows out connects to gray rather than a dark, uh, normal dark root color. Sort of just marries in that, that salt and pepper, but the salt and with everything else, it's just a really, really cool technique. And I love that that's the direction that they've taken her character. I love the, I love what the hairdresser is doing on the show. It makes me very happy. So I just wanted to go over a little bit of what I've been doing with my guests to achieve that look. Uh, I think that it's really for the people that are going to come in with pictures of her say, oh, I want my hair to look like her. It's really just going to be focusing on getting that good, strong money piece and then figuring something out for the rest of the day. I like to do foils for that money piece because whatever we do throughout the dimension of the hair, that's going to need to stand out a little bit more than everything else. So that is an area that's going to have a little bit of a root when it grows in, but whatever. You want to make an omelet, you got to break some eggs. It's what we got to do. So you see that good, strong money piece there with everything else just sort of looking a little bit more lived in, a little bit more natural. And then underneath, she's still very, very dark. So that's what makes the fact that they're not blasting that outside layer super, super blonde, but it makes it pop more by leaving everything underneath so dark. She has gone through and lightened the ends of the hair, but as, like I said, there's one scene where she wears a braid. It's like the most gorgeous braid I've ever seen in my life because of all of the colors in it. And you will notice that there is so much dark. The reason I don't have more pictures of this is because I tried screenshotting it on my phone and HBO like is preventing us from doing that. And when you screenshot it, you just get a black picture. So unfortunately, I only got what you can Google. So go watch the show if you want to see more. They're not paying me to do this it's at all. It's like... Back in the day when you had to like put a piece of tape over your VHS to yeah. record. Yeah. yeah. It's like that. Wait, I never did that. You never did that? No. Wow. You have not been into technology. <laughs> says, okay. All right, Jessica Parker. Uh, well, right. We all have our thing. <laughs> we all have our thing. That's why, it's, how, it's what makes us a team. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I pick up where you lack. Yeah. And, so. Right. All right, so I just wanted to show you some of the kind of balayage that I like to do with this because you guys know how to foil. I, like I said, I suggest when approaching a, a look like this, you're going to want your biggest pop up front. And as you are doing your balayage, there may be areas where they're a little bit grayer, so it's going to get kind of bright and to keep any area from being too stand out back here. So just to throw some, uh, some uh, hand-painted highlights in there for you real quick. Got my Skylights from Paul Mitchell. Great consistency. Got my 40 volume because that's all I use pretty much with my balayage because I want as much lift as I can get in the time available. Mix it with my little plastic spatula because... It gives me a consistency that I like way better than mixing it with a whisk. That is a precarious bottle. <laughs> thought that was going down. That's what you thought. So we are live on Minerva Beauty's Facebook. That might be it might be the last live on Minerva Beauty's Facebook. Uh oh. Of the year. It's okay. We're doing of the year, or like ever. Ever kind of, but we're doing other things. We're gonna be doing some new stuff. But um right. but shout out to Minerva Beauty, supporters of Free Salon Education Forever. <laughs> Go to their website, get this cool cart for your color. Where you can balance. Where it doesn't only hold things. It keeps them from falling. Yeah. It's amazing. They're gonna have to put that on the uh the description yeah. of this table from now on. All right, let's get to work. Okay. Quit screwing around. We got we got Christmas clients. Good thing we didn't start late. Yeah. All right, so again, when you're doing this, I'm not teaching you a, a technique on the head right now because different people are going to have different areas of gray. 
I, you know, some people, it might be in the temples, it might be on the hairline, who knows? But the whole point of this is to take their hair color, leave the base what it is, and then create highlights that blend in that gray so that as that gray grows in, it's not quite so stand out looking crazy like, oh, wow, that's, that's a skunk stripe. It can, you can actually make it look like a part of the highlight. So wherever your areas are, I like to go in, actually, let's do this on the other side because that side's so pretty. Go in, work with your hair, color, work with their gray, wherever it is. I like to do a big mix of dry brushing and like a, a heavily saturated highlight. So what I mean by that, let's say that she's got some nice little Doctor Strange patches in, uh, boy, when they watch this in five years they're going to know exactly what time frame this is with all of my references 500 years yeah it's on the internet last forever matt oh yeah because youtube yeah. will be a thing in fact <laughs> watch i'm calling it now mark my words in 500 years we'll see who's right he's the next gary v he's he's predicting the future yeah of social yeah yeah sure welcome all right, so on these areas where you're trying to create some dimension, you can create dimension in your highlight itself by coming on the outside here. <laughs> I'm going to give a more saturated highlight on the edges of my ridge. And then once I get that where I want it, Rather than just leaving it so dark in the middle, because we're pretending like there's some gray hair in there, I'll come in with just like a very little bit on that, not my little mound of highlight that I normally like to have, just making sure that there's a little bit on the bristles, and then just kind of fill that in. I'll start at the bottom, and then just drag that back up to about where the highlight starts. Again, you're in total control here, so you can keep it down low where the two strong highlights come together, or you can drag it on up closer to the actual root. But what that's going to do is that now this whole area is going to have its own dimension in the highlight, which is going to blend any area of salt and pepper in really, really nicely. So... A lightener? Are you using Skylight. Skylight from Paul Mitchell, clay-based hand-painting lightener, great for free-form highlights. <laughs> Lift, highlights. lots of control, lots of blonde. So now when you look at that, you can see you've got your strong, where the strong lift on the outsides of that highlight, plus the softer stuff in between. It doesn't look that like... It doesn't look like it's doing that much on my brown mannequin. But when you are working on a guest who's got salt and pepper in their hair, you're going to get really nice mixed uh, levels of lift in that one highlight. Plus, we went nice and strong on that front hairline so that when the hair gets pulled back, they'll have that dimension there. But when the hair is worn down, all the dark from behind that highlight we just put in will make it pop a little bit more which in turn gives you a little bit more of that mirroring that salt and pepper because that's sort of what we're creating here. We're not going to get as white as salt with a highlight, but by having different levels of lift in your highlight, it's going to help blend the, the dark and light that you get from somebody whose hair is graying. Cool? Do you have any questions? Just like... So... Run so far, up. good on questions, but can you just turn her a tiny bit? Yeah, because there's really not much else to do, so I'll just do it again. <laughs> Sweet. So again, we'll just do it again for the, the cheap. All right. A lot of nice comments today. Oh, Feeling the... Uh, holiday spirit? Holiday spirit. Well, thanks, guys. Appreciate guys, gals, everyone in between. Is everybody going going somewhere for the holidays? Are they staying home for the holidays? What's the... Uh, We're in a pandemic, Matt. I know. That's why I want to know. I want to get a feel for the room. How safe everyone's being. Guess we'll see. 
some people, a lot of my clients I've been talking to, like they're all testing prior to going to parties. Like, yeah. Like their parties are like being planned and then everybody tests and then goes to the party. My client was telling me yesterday for her nephew, she's leaving a rapid test in the mailbox and they have to test in the driveway negative they can come in if it's positive then a plate of food will be delivered to their car and they have to go home Hmm. so either way it works it's a it's a win-win yeah it's like a cool drive-through or (laughs) i might just go depending on the relative i might be like oh crap it's positive i (laughs) and but can i have some food please yeah (laughs) so what i'm doing so that everyone can see it this time what I just did last time. If this is an area where they have varying levels of gray mixed in with their base, then I'm going to go in, take a wide section like this, frame the outside with two heavily saturated highlights. And then once I get those in place, down where they meet at my fingers, I'm just going to do some dry brushing to help also create just little bumps of lift in between that highlight, which gives it a nice level of dimension. I like doing this on, like I said, my salt and pepper gray clients. I don't love doing this necessarily when you're highlighting someone, like just doing this as their highlight, because that dry brushing in between isn't going to give you nearly the amount of lift that these highlights are. So if you're not looking for that type of dimension, especially if you want someone to end up with like a cooler toned hair, these middle sections that you're doing just the dry brushing on aren't going to get very bright. So they're going to need to be toned with something much different than the highlight it's right next to if you're trying to land on a cool tone. That being brought up, if you show or look at pictures of what we're referencing here today, I got to say one of the things that will help you achieve this look the most beautifully is make your client understand that they're going to want to land on a warm tone to finish with. Like, this look mixed with, oh, I like that really ashy, ashy blonde. They don't go together quite as well in my opinion. I am not saying that this is how it is. I just like the way that this looks when you land on warm tones. Because there is so much dimension in that lift it is going to want to lean more towards the warm side. So I feel like if you embrace that, it just adds a little bit more life and a little bit more energy because the point of what we're doing here is to not let someone just roll into gray and stay there. We're trying to make it a little bit more stylish, a little bit more lively and healthy looking. And I think just having that little bit of warmth to it really just makes it come alive a little bit more. So that's my opinion. I'm sticking to it. So sometimes I stare off and kind of like just make sure the show's running so I don't listen fully. But um, Kelly is asking about using skylights on black colored hair, like dark, dark hair. Um, Would Obviously, I just think we should talk about. So balayage on colored hair is... It's it's tough because it's it makes it it's even less predictable than foils on colored hair because especially if you've gone all the way down to like a level one black because you're only going to get so much lift. I don't care who the balayage lightener is like I use skylights, but you're going to be exposing tons of warmth. You're going, can it be done? Of course. And this isn't a skylights rule. This is a balayage lightener. Right. Like the whole thing with balayage is that it's not going to process as quickly, as quickly, as far, as extreme as a foil is going to. And that's on virgin hair. So if you're doing it on previously colored hair, you're going to get maybe half of what you'd expect on virgin hair. So can it be done? Yes. Is it going to take you longer to get to a bright end result? Yeah, like, are you getting someone from black to that in one visit? No. But look, and look at her base, so everybody should understand. Like, look where Brian got with his last night, processing it for a long time with 40 volume. Yeah. And that's a foil in the very front. Yeah, right? she was foiled up front with 40 volume yeah. and then balayaged with 40 in the back, so and then I watched The, the Matrix. She, right. And washed it. 
So that's the thing. Like if they have a lighter base, they're going to get a lighter end result. If they have a darker base, you're going to see that more caramel yeah. kind of tone. Like and if there's black I've, hair, it's going to be like orangey. Yeah. Oh God. You'll be yeah. happy when you get to orange. It's going to be like rust red first. Yeah. Like there's a, a, a good meme out there of one of the, I think it's Khloe Kardashian showing her journey of when she was really, really dark to eventually getting blonde. And that's, it's just what it honestly is. And that's why, especially with those types of clients, I like to under promise and over deliver. I like to surprise them with, you know, what we can do and uh, just be realistic and be honest and open. Cause yeah, I you, always tell them how crappy it's going to be when they when we get done and then. Well, and you're also usually right. Water. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's a good hairdresser. I'm just joking. Uh, do we have any more? Cause that's pretty much it. Like I, it's just, I want you to play around with this. It's not difficult. It's super fun. I only have a couple of clients who this applies to, but it is something really cool to do with them. I might have a couple more. Like I've got people when people want to embrace the gray, this is a much more fun way to do it. Than just letting them be gray. So if you watch the show like that underneath that, base of her neck and in between those highlights that's her color like that's her actual base color and when you watch the show and she wears it down you would never know because the outside of her hair is highlighted enough and I couldn't get a picture I'm so pissed I even tried to do it on the mannequin last night but when you watch the show she clearly has an area on her part that's a little bit more gray because they've done a much better highlight like in the back quadrant of her head but they balance it out by having the really strong money piece that's even crisper and brighter and more blonde while leaving something bold, but not as bold here. So it still all makes sense. So you don't have to watch the show if you're not into it. Put it on mute, but I do suggest checking out some form, even just watch the trailer for it, just to see how cool they've uh they've made this color work because i guarantee we are going to start having guests come to us with this because back when sex in the city was a thing everybody wanted her clothes and her hair anyway and now she looks even better so i say check it out check it out now, i know matt's excited to check out <laughs> jessica. jessica parker's <laughs> that's his new uh celebrity crush yeah watch out wow. uh was there any more questions i don't think so yeah Merry Christmas to everyone. Yeah, I love you guys. Or whatever you celebrate. Happy holidays. Holidays. A L L. All of them. Holidays. Um, whatever you do or don't celebrate. Hope you have a wonderful rest of this year. Yeah. I'm um, a big. My personally, New Year's Eve is my favorite. So I'm like super are you like excited. Going out? Well, I, yes. You're gonna be. Yeah. I'll be in Key West. So anyone who's in Key West, I'll be standing out in the streets, six feet apart from strangers. That's, that's not. Different. That's February. Jeez, look at your life. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Spending this winter warm. That's right. Jealousy you. Um, yeah. Somebody said that they got a... Here it is. No, yep, it is. What you got? Carrie got a tri-razor. Oh, yay. Thanks. It's fun to use. Um, we do have a sale. F uh, ends tomorrow. 15% uh, off everything on the store. Oh, and... Shoot, do I have it? Yes, I do. Wait, hang on. What you got? I'll fill. <laughs> I know how to I know how to keep talking. No, I'm a I've been using the tri razor on bangs lately. On well bangs and face frame just because it feels cool and it looks cool and then people are like, what's that? And I'm like, eh, my boss invented a razor. It's pretty cool. My scissors back in stock. Where's my scissors? This is version two. I don't know. <laughs> but apparently they were making mine, so damn it. No, yours is coming. I, I'm pretty sure. Along with everyone else's. That well, I hope so. I know. <laughs> um, this, here it is. Uh, focus. Ooh. Yeah. Look at that guy. Ooh. Look at that focus. So, it's available on our online store, Shop FSE, right now. We have limited. I think there's only 50, 50 total, and we've sold some. So. Uh-oh. And they're good scissors, because we get to try things to make yeah. sure that Matt's ready to send them to the masses. Yes. And they're good. It's good stuff. You can trust us. You can trust Matt. You can trust Mrs. Tony. What's up, Jess? Oh, is it Christmas in Australia yet? I just want Jess to know that I actually thought this morning, I was like, I didn't promote this, and Jess is going to be sleeping, and it's the last live stream <laughs> of the year. I actually thought that in my brain. Oh. So, 
glad, That's sweet. Glad she made it on. He doesn't know who Sarah Jessica Parker is, but he's thinking about Jess Mack in Australia. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's the important thing. I am, yeah, you know what? I like your priorities, Matt. Yeah. I appreciate that. All right, cool. So, yeah, if, anyone, if no one else has questions, then uh, I think we will wrap up 2021 and say thank you so much to everyone that has ever come and visited and asked questions and made requests and chit-chatting with us. And we'll be back at it. Be back in 2022. Uh, Brian will be live every day that he's not on vacation. All in right. A, in a tropical place. <laughs> all right, relax. Maybe I'll be live while I'm there. There you go. You Who should. knows? You should. Uh, so if you want to find out if I'm live while I'm there, yeah. oh, Whoa, good segue. segue. Go check me out. Uh, social medias. It's H-A-I-R-E style. Yep. And then free salon education. Download our app, which, by the way, Love the new look of it. You do? I do. That's I sweet. went into it. I was like, oh, <laughs> this is cool looking. Yeah. We took so, some time on that one. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. So to know what we're talking about, to be in the know with us, yes. go to freestyleeducation.com and then download the app for whatever kind of phone you have so that you can be in the community with us. It'll have all of our videos in one place. You can show us your work, check out our work, and really just sort of get the conversation going because that's what this is about. It's all of us being here for each other. Yeah, and if you guys want to become better at haircutting, then download the cutting system. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure where you were going with that. I'm was, go with that. <laughs> you landed the plane. We got there. <laughs> Any landing you can walk away from, right? Yep, <laughs> yep. I just want to preface the video I'm about to play as we go out of here. Got it. All right, well. So get it. Everyone stay safe. Have a wonderful holiday, whatever it is. Have a great New Year's. I'll see you next year. Goodbye. Stay safe. There's a few things that you have to understand about haircutting before you can really jump into doing haircuts. These are all things that I'm gonna teach you guys in the next eight haircuts. Truly understanding the why behind what you're doing in haircutting can make haircutting so much more fun and make you way more successful behind the chair.